I've gotten a hundred direct messages of people telling me that I made it on YouTube into a Sunny V2 video. More importantly, one called Who Has the Worst Reputation in YouTube History? And it's got Nick Akato Avocado no! <laughs> in the thumbnail. The characters in this video will no doubt be characters that have been on my channel many times because that's what I like to do. I like to show you guys things that make me feel very uncomfortable. I like to take a step back, lift up the old skirt, and take a peek at the plumbus of YouTube. Okay, the inner plummets. I better be in this video many times, by the way. I haven't seen it yet. I better be in this thing 150 times or I'm gonna be pissed off. These creators have the These 10 creators. worst reputations in YouTube history. YouTube coming history. Coming in at number 10 is YouTube prankster oh. Vitaly ZD. I know him. He's a prank man and he beat the hell out of a woman a couple of years ago. Beat the hell out of her for no reason. Put his arms out big and wide like he wanted to hug me. And then he just ran on me and he He's an interesting, interesting fella. Vitaly's reputation began to decline after the confessing in a rant video that some of his most popular pranks had been faked. Out of 165 videos, I maybe faked five videos. However, despite Vitaly stating that he'd only faked five videos, a different YouTube prankster, FoozyTube, would respond to the video by stating that Vitaly had staged more than that, resulting in another response from Vitaly in which he'd once again admit that his videos were in fact fake. Everybody knows that we faked pranks back in the day. Yes, I faked some of my videos. I've never faked any videos ever. I adopted a child off the dark web twice. All right, do people actually think that pranks are real? Like any of them at all? I think if it's possible to be faked, it's just fake, usually. As well as the time he get in hot water for climbing one of Egypt's great pyramids. <laughs> he did what? He kind of, he climbed a pyramid. When did he beat the woman up? Obviously ruined his reputation beyond repair was the time he was arrested in Miami. On the 12th of April, 2020, Vitaly attacked a random woman who was simply ah, jogging past the front of that, Vitaly's that's, house. And when the police body cam footage of the happen. arrest was released, it was obvious that Vitaly was incredibly intoxicated. Very sad, very sad to fall off so hard, take so many L's. That could be a fat dub. But alas, you f it up by beating up that woman. Vitaly was sued by the woman for an undisclosed amount. Ooh. And while Vitaly seems to have made somewhat Ooh. of a redemption, judging from recent podcast appearances, the same can't be said for the YouTube with the ninth worst reputation and a production. This guy is the ninth worst? There's worse than him? I'm just FaceTiming the number, Radia's Edika. Oh my god, this is actually really scary, guys. I really don't know what to say. I can't stand this guy anymore. I guess there are murderers and like, incels and shit like that. What if I'm on here? What if I'm like number three? That would suck. I'd be really sad. I'd be really sad if I, I feel like I don't have that bad of a reputation. I feel like I'm a nice guy. I feel like I'm a nice guy. I got a big mustache. The reputation of NNA Productions began to decline when Penguin Zero was oh, stated yeah, that NNA was the worst Old YouTuber school on the entire Charlie. website. With the initial criticism being that NNA simply okay, made awful guys, today fake it creative is challenges me, that were targeted at children. This channel's name is NNA Productions, oh, and it's so generic it makes the Nickelback Charlie. look like rock and roll pioneers. He makes the exact same video every single time. He's exactly like the other YouTuber, Eli So Cray. Yeah, man, I'm really ready for this. Like, I've been waiting for this all my life. Like, oh my gosh, like. Yeah, like, it's totally lit, like, oh my god, so like, let me whip my hair real quick, like, rainbow on them, let's skittle to the rainbow line. You say you ready for this? All right, all right, man, it's, it's good to know that you're ready, man, but the way you said it, the way I say all fruity like that, man. Well, I think Eli So Cray is like, changed a little bit or something. Don't care. But this is called, do you know how orgasm is in females? Female body and bio life. What the fuck biology? It's that cringe 3 a.m. just mind-numbing, brain-dead thing that used to exist on YouTube four or five years ago. Extreme Games did it too. JayStation, him, he did it. Oh, I feel bad. To explain that NNA Productions takes advantage of his young, naive audience by hosting young a fake giveaway audience. in the beginning of every video. You're not allowed to host fake giveaways. It's an actual felony to do that. So what he's is doing it? is breaking the law because there's no winners for these giveaways. So he's breaking a law what? and he is also breaking a YouTube rule. But for some reason, he's done this in every single video and he has still not had his channel taken down yet. Well, he's probably not in, in America. That's probably why it's not illegal for him to do it. And it's probably also there's a lot of YouTubers who just lie in videos too. I'm one of those people. I've said how many times if I get 50,000 likes, I'll get a monkey. Guys, I can't actually get a monkey. All right, I'm just, I'm just, it's sarcasmic. It's a sarcasmic statement. I'm not actually gonna get a monkey. You think I can get a monkey? Should, should I?
Should I get a monkey? 50,000 likes, I'll get a monkey. Following Penguin Zero talking about NNA Productions, Diesel Patches, Pancho, and DJ Cook would each upload their own viral videos, also talking about how terrible he was. Calling Cars 3. Cars 3 is a movie. How can you call a movie? Yeah, I, I assume uh, when it gets to Nikocado Avocado, that's where I'm gonna come in, is a little piece, a little a little segment of me saying something absolute, <laughs> and, and then just having a call to action. Guys. Nick is destroying himself. He's so cringe. He's so toxic. Being that he made a 3am video on Etika right after he passed what? away. He actually went ahead and did an Etika 3am challenge. I love Pirates of Etika, right guys? And one like equals one prayer for Etika. That's crazy that he would do that. I mean, I guess it makes sense, but that's f insane. Poor, I mean, I was going to say poor guy, but I just like poor guy. He's so naive and dumb. He's so naive. He's literally just sees views and that's all he cares about. Internet, including his own comment bots, joined his in on the comment NNA bots Productions him. hate train. Hate However, around two years after Penguin Zero uploaded his drippy, video though. calling him the worst YouTuber on the platform, Charlie changed his mind by calling him the most impressive YouTuber for his consistency in being able to pump out so much terrible content for such a long period of time. <laughs> that's it is true, dude. around from being the worst YouTuber to the strongest, most persistent YouTuber <laughs> I've ever seen in my life. And speaking of that's terrible awesome, content dude. for a long long period of time, so this funny. seems like an appropriate point to talk oh, no. about number 8, Wings of Redemption. This is a good list. This is the, one of the greatest lists. I've, this is one of the greatest videos I've ever seen on YouTube. This is so good. They, all these characters are people who I've spent great amounts of time thinking about and researching. My oldest YouTube foray was with PKA. I used to watch PKA all the time. I love Woody. Woody basically raised me. I mean, I'm 26. He didn't really raise me, I guess. I was still, I was basically an adult when I started watching him, but I was like 14 or whatever, but he basically raised me. He's my father. Wings of Redemption's reputation began to decline after he'd lose a 1v1 match against another large Call of Duty YouTuber named Syndicate. In the lead up to the 1v1, Wings had been going on about how bad Syndicate was and how there was no way Wings could possibly lose the match. Yet when the showdown eventually happened, Syndicate beat Wings 14 kills to 9 in front of an audience of 7,000 and Wings of Redemption completely lost it. I broke my controller. You broke your controller? <laughs> <laughs> this match would act as a catalyst for Wings to gain approximately 100 pounds. Seems like a bit of an overreaction to be honest to me. I don't really know exactly. Uh, whenever I lose video games, usually I just uh, walk away from my PC. Don't you hate it when people say that? Just get up and leave your PC. No! And eventually cultivate an army of trolls who would do nothing he has but quite an army of trolls every single live Berating stream. Berating him. The constant harassment by his audience led to a pinnacle when, after being stream sniped for an entire live stream, Wings will once again lose it in front of his audience. Oh! And then they ordered Wendy's and sent it to his house a hundred times. They still do that. There's a weekly event in the Wings of Redemption sphere without fail. Every week there's something new. Every single week. I can't take this shit no more, man. That sucks, man. It's hard playing games for a job. It's hard. The streams, entire YouTube channels became dedicated to posting Wings of Redemption's worst moments, which not only brought more trolls to each stream, but these videos made it next to impossible for Wings to get a job or do anything outside of streaming to an audience who were essentially just watching so they could laugh at him. However, there were still less people laughing at Wings in comparison to the creator with the seventh worst reputation, Nikocado Avocado. Only seventh? Only seventh. Seventh? I thought seven. I thought he'd be a little lower. I mean, he's really not that bad. But like, I feel like people know he's just joking, right? He's got to be doing a character. After gaining a following as one of the platform's first male Such vegan mukbang YouTubers, Nikocado Avocado's level of discipline began to slip. Rather than eating healthy vegan food for the mm. camera, he began to consume more and more fast food, likely due to its speedy delivery, oh, cheap yeah. cost, and overwhelming relatability to the audience. Yeah, the relatability is definitely the key. Not likely to the cheap, cheap cost, necessarily. Probably more so because it just got better views, to be honest. That's why. That's definitely why he began his mukbanging. I don't really know to be, I shouldn't speak out of turn, daddy. But uh, I do know that he, that he, you know, likes views a lot. And he's a smart guy and he knows what's up. And he knows how to make thumbnails. And he knows that the more disgusting food you put in the thumbnail, the, the more views you get. And also the fatter you get, the more views you get as well. Uh, eating fast food every single day in order to produce a video came alongside a massive increase in body Ooh. weight. Like as time progressed, Nick Cardo only got larger now and larger to the point though. where people weren't even watching for the mukbang, oh, but rather yeah. to see Nick Cardo avocado eat himself to death. See? 
That's what I mean. That's what I mean. He's like, it's like a, like a, like a Chia pet kind of, but really morbid. However, the thing that put the biggest dent in his reputation was that he used all of these negative elements as a way to gain views. Celebrating our <laughs> 700 pound milestone, McDonald's mukbang. Dude, I love that thumbnail. Look at that thumbnail, bro. He's such a troll. We're all being trolled. We're all being trolled. I'm so dumb. We fell for, I fell for it. I fell for it. He's a fucking my new diet as a disabled person, how much weight I've gained fast food mukbang, with each of these videos having negative comment after negative comment about Nikocado yeah. monetizing the collapse of his life. However, while Nikocado's food related content has generated a pretty equal mix of both fans and haters, the same can't be said for the person with the sixth worst reputation, vegan teacher. that vegan yes! teacher. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Also, it has not been the collapse of Nikocado's life. It has been the absolute glow up of, of a century. Popeye's chicken sandwich. I mean, look at these numbers. Holy shit. I think I know what, what, what's next for me. Just kidding, I can't even finish a hamburger. In the beginning, the vegan teacher's content was I don't like mild, fun, and much. entertaining. However, after she'd blow up from a back and forth between her and Gordon Ramsay, I mean, her strategy it was switched to calling that. out any and every influencer with she the She was doing it before that. Response. If you're not vegan, I'm coming after you. If you're not vegan, then fuck you, you dumb piece of shit. I fucking hate you, all right, dude? All right, dude, I'm vegan, bro. Suck me. Suck me off. That's my impression of the vegan teacher. Guys, you cannot be promoting cheese to children. Absolutely cheese is like not. A poison, and it comes from a cycle of violence. You forgot to say vegan cheese. Mr. Beast for not using ah, vegan lollies in his chocolate factory video. I wonder if all of those candies vegan are vegan. Lollies. I hope Probably not. so, because gelatin comes from violence. We should burn him. We should burn Mr. Beast. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I think she's so annoying, though, dude. It's like. Say something new for once. Say something new. I can literally predict what she's going to say. As a result of these outrageous claims against Crap. some of YouTube's most beloved creators, the vegan teacher became one of the main punching bags Beauty for the commentary pie. community, and subsequently it became a trend for the wider YouTube audience to hate on her. The fact yeah. that people are actually supporting this lady and subscribe to this lady is tragic. See, that's another thing. Is there anyone at all who support these people, these toxic creators? I know that's like the big thing everyone grandstands and says in White Nights, you know, like... We shouldn't allow this to be on the platform. They should, we shouldn't be supporting this. The people that support this and then the people that comment are too far gone. All right? There's casualties in war. Who cares about them? They probably can't even vote. They probably don't even know how to vote. All right? They do breathe our air. War. But alas. <laughs> now they're breathing my farts. War never changes. This is another level of insanity. It's so hard to think that this whole channel isn't satire. The fact that she is still like on social to level media till this day for absolutely no reason, just to harass people for not being vegan, makes me mad. <laughs> it's funny, dude. I mean, she just has been going on and the same, the same old, same old things, and then just not growing. Hello, students. Welcome back to class. Today we have a new student. His name is Jake Paul. No core audience whatsoever. Just bots and people who hate her, which I guess that does well. I mean, Nick Akato has kind of mastered that, so. It's best summarized by the brutal we all know it's bad and annoying. almost every single video we posted to her channel. We all know it's bad yeah, and annoying. In comparison Everyone. to the creator with the fifth worst reputation, the vegan teacher still looks like a saint. In fact, the next person has a reputation so terrible that it's what? not even possible to find a no single way. positive comment on any of their videos, no matter what? how deeply you look. The most toxic YouTuber I've ever stumbled across. I cannot believe that this is a real thing. And it's a that YouTuber going by the name of Lisa Gaming Roblox. That was me. That was me. And it's about Lisa Roblox Gaming. I can't believe that this is, that this is, that that's, that's what I was tied in. It was Lisa, it was Roblox? She first blew up by posting a video of her like deleting other Roblox players' houses, but with Blocks 4 million burn. views on an incredibly toxic first video came Blocks an indescribable burn. level of I backlash. This is literally unforgivable considering literally? how much time the people spent making the house, and then there is a person Blocks who just burn. destroys it all. However, the impressive performance of the video She's the Joker of thing to Lisa. Burn. Toxicity equals attention. The exactly. very next video posted to the channel was therefore another toxic video, in which Lisa would make up fake allegations about another large Roblox YouTuber, and subsequently the entire channel devolved into a cesspool of unsavory content. What a bitch! Is Lisa even real? Is that a conspiracy? Does she even exist or is it just a DARPA project? I could be Lisa and you'd have no idea. I could be Lisa right now and you'd have no idea. 
idea. I create the illness and then manufacture the cure. And every single comment on every single video follows a Everyone similar structure Lisa. along the lines of, Everyone this is how Lisa. many people want Lisa to be banned from Bloxburg, wow. people who dislike her vids. What's Bloxburg? Is that like the Chicago of However, Roblox? However, instead of trying to repair her reputation, Lisa simply plays into it by creating countless videos reading these hate comments, which only leads to more hate. However, she's still not nearly as hated what? as the creator There's with more. the fourth worst reputation, Dark Side Phil. Dude, this guy's crazy. If you don't know about this fellow, then, then you're in for a f***ing treat. The king of hate. hate. Darkside Phil began as a professional player on the game Street Fighter back in the mid 2000s, where he became hated by the community for his disrespectful attitude toward other he players. He looks like a professional Street Fighter, Fighter DSP, player. He's a total piece of shit, by the way. This was Whoa, followed by dude. Phil joining YouTube Rough. in 2007. I used to get sad when I go on YouTube when it looked like that. I don't know why. Every time I would use it on the computer and look at it, it just made me f sad. It just looked like shit. Old school YouTube used to look like shit. All right, it looks good now. I remember when everyone was mad when it changed. I was like, good, bruh. Good. However, uploading full game playthroughs came with its own set of problems. With so many hours of footage posted to Phil's channel, a user by the name of Evil AJ 2010 compiled all of Phil's it. worst moments on the game Metal Gear Solid oh, before uploading yes. them as a video titled This Is How You Don't Play MGS2. I've Phil wasn't this, too happy bro. with this, so he'd respond to the video, but this only prompted more compilations by be. other creators, each of which prefixed with the title This Is How You Don't Play. These videos not only led to the initial decline in Phil's reputation, but then also lead to a collapse in his viewership at a time when Phil was becoming desperate for money so he could pay his bills. In 2020, it will be discovered that Phil was over $500,000 in debt, causing him to file for bankruptcy. Bro, if that's gonna make you file for bankruptcy, I'm in way more debt than that, okay? A whole lot more. Way more de debt than that. My liabilities are like zero, or a lot. It became apparent that Phil had not been spending the donation money on bills, and instead had maxed out 13 credit cards and spent over $40,000 on a mobile game called WWE Legends <laughs> with a document showing that Phil had been spending more money on the game than he had been on his mortgage. No way, dude. That's awesome. My guy, he's, he's lost. He's a lost soul. He, he probably presses like on vegan teacher content. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, dude. That's what I'm saying, dude. It's bullshit. These people don't exist. They're not real. They're not real. Dark side Phil is not real. He's not real. What do you think? You guys agree with me? Cause I'm just saying shit, I'm trying new things. Just to put a cherry on top of the cake, Phil was teasing. also I'm caught teasing. beating I'm off teasing. on stream whilst not realizing That's that he cool. was live. And while the camera was only focused on his face, his reaction is still hilarious. Oh, the camera's on. The camera's been on the whole time, huh? I don't even know. However, if we're on the topic of being caught in 4K, then this That's might awesome. be the perfect time to talk about the- That's awesome, I like that. He can't- Oh, the camera- Oh, the camera's on. It's not like a political commentator. Oh, oh, the camera's on. Okay, well, here's 15 reasons why uh, the age of consent should be lower. Created with the third worst reputation, EDP for Oh, f it's it a was once horrible a creator image. held in high regard for his honesty and unfiltered attitude whilst on camera. However, all of this he changed was held on the in high regard. April 2021 I always thought it was like a joke. When he tried to meet up with a minor after chatting with her online. No. No, no, he didn't. Listen, Sonny, you're getting your research wrong. Okay, dude. That's what I do. I just can't stand these videos. I can't stand Sonny's videos because he's always getting his shit wrong. All right. He wasn't trying to meet up with a minor. He was trying to get a cupcake. <sighs> Don't you know? So what brings you out here today? Um, well, I was uh, coming out here. To... Glasses off. Okay. Well, I was actually coming out here to pick up a cupcake. Turns out the account was a decoy created by two other YouTubers who captured Check the whole Goldstein. interaction on camera. And after other creators like Penguin Zero publicized the footage Yo. to an audience of over 13 Yo. million, EDP's public image Big collapsed moment. overnight. Big moment it in lose history. 200,000 subscribers Big in moment. a week. Then seven days later, YouTube would delete his channel altogether. Yay. His cameo, Facebook, and Instagram were also deleted, Good. leading him to migrate well to deserved. other niche video sharing websites such as Three. He's happy that the Eagles are doing really well band. right now. EDP attempted to get a job driving for Lyft, Uber Eats, and Grubhub. <laughs> if EDP was my Uber Eats driver, my my DoorDash driver, I would be so happy. I would be legitimately ecstatic. I don't even know what I would do, for one. But I would be like... I don't even know. I might even Wojak. After which he would apply to have his name changed as a desperate attempt to escape oh. from the controversy. He then moved oh to a completely different city where he began to live out of various hotels. He needs to order a vacuum down there in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Am I right? Better call Saul and Breaking Bad viewers? 
he was continually evicted as a result of people calling each hotel he to let them know evicted. what EDP he had gets done. Evicted a lot. And while right. EDP is essentially now living in exile from both the internet and the Ooh. real world, he's not the only person on this list in such a position. What? Maximilian Ow, lost the this guy. With the second worst reputation I also hate this guy. this category of exiled YouTubers. This guy used you to comment on all my videos. the guy who made the oh yeah yeah Fortnite song oh, yeah, before yeah, getting oh, everyone yeah, in his yeah. audience to clone his profile picture yeah, this, and comment oh yeah yeah on characters. other creators' videos. Well, but that isn't all bad. I mean, it was it was very, very, very annoying, but more so just the toxicity. If someone I liked did that, like if Mudahar did that, I wouldn't care. Everyone, go to this live stream, type we strayed, we gang, and say homophobic stuff and spam and be racist and sexist and mean and also Max gang. The reason why he had them saying we yeah, gang is like because Weast. that's a YouTuber that he didn't like, so he wanted to make it sound like all of the homophobic and racist shit was coming from that guy's community, hoping he'd get banned for it. He did this for other streamers as well. The Maximilian Mus rabbit hole yeah. is so deep that it's almost impossible to cover in one or two minutes. So you'll have to refer to these three videos by Penguin Zero, Turkey Tom, and Internet Ajay. And while Maximilian Mus's channel was eventually terminated as a result of his <laughs> oh, yeah, actions, yeah, his low profile doesn't quite earn him the worst reputation on YouTube. Who's the worst? That title goes to Sky Does Minecraft, who is- It is? Uh-huh? His empire and reputation began to decline when he announced that he and his partner Elisa had broken up, leading Sky to have he was a that full famous, mental I didn't breakdown realize. on Keemstar's show Drama Alert. But this is my son! This is my legacy! This is my family! I'm upset at her for continuing to ruin my life when I haven't done anything to her! I just want my son! As a result of his deteriorating mental health, Sky began to develop a drug problem, eventually resulting he in the collapse like of his next relationship, problem. after which the ex-partner would come out with over 6,000 words worth of the most brutal allegations in YouTube history. A manifesto on why he's a piece of shit. Sky hadn't had more than a hundred thousand dollars for years and would steal money from companies just to buy drugs and never do the work. Then four months later, the Sky Does Minecraft YouTube channel was listed <laughs> for sale on a third party website, requesting a price of nine hundred thousand dollars, providing him with the title of the worst. I saw reputation that on Twitter, dude. I wish, bro. I wish if I had nine hundred grand to just <laughs> away into the ether, I would do it. For sure. 